Hi there, Lindsay here. I am about to go out and do some garden maintenance as soon as the sun goes down a little bit more, but I thought before I did all that, I would go ahead and give you guys a little garden tour and show you what my garden is looking like right now. I am in grow zone 7B and it is mid-June. So it's already very, very hot. Uh, the rain has slowed down a bit, so we have been having to water a little bit and it's time to fertilize again. So that's what I'll be doing tonight is fertilizing, spraying neem oil, and watering everything in pretty well. But let's go ahead and get started. If you've never been here before, my garden is cut off from the rest of the yard by a little fence and you go right in through this gate on my porch. When you first come off of the stairs I built this little bed here and my grandma gave me some of butterfly weed I think that's what it's called um, just a little butterfly bush and I know that it's dying and that's okay because it's bulb so it'll come back every year right here I also planted some Chinese lanterns and they're coming back nicely they were quite yellow when I planted them I waited a little bit too long um, and I'll probably add some herbs to this or just some little plants just to round this out a little bit. In front of my stairs is our kids garden um, that's why you see all the toys inside it when this grows up they use it as a playhouse last year there was loofah growing on one end and I think uh, I don't know some other viney something or other the loofah growing here yeah it's growing we need to weed this bed don't we but the loofah has finally caught on here. Oh, look, it's so spotty. So it's starting to grow. And I'll have to show you my two cherry tomatoes. Like oh, this is what he's most excited about. Yeah, this I is love, Ollie. I love chocolate cherry tomatoes. Look. See. Looky there. We got baby tomatoes on our cherry toms. Yep. Lots of blooms, lots of cherry tomatoes. Yeah, tomato. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Looks like this was a sucker that got away from us, but we gotta leave it now. And then we've got some more cherry tomatoes on that side. Yeah, this one's growing. This, I think, might be a cherry tomato plant, too. We just planted it later. But beside our cherry tomatoes, we have uh, sugar snap peas growing. So those will trellis all the way up. Right. We've got those in between and, uh, those, and, and they're got, growing nicely. And I got a corn in here that I didn't plant. It's somewhere. All I right, think. hold on. We've got a big rainbow tomato that I need to cage. These four clocks I had planted last year and they came back. And then I kind of rescued this sunflower. It was actually growing over there and I pulled it up when we moved all that. I didn't know that it would grow, but it's actually, it's so it's doing okay, so we're gonna leave it there. But look, why she pulled it out is because it was bit grown. Yeah, it's crooked a little bit. Yeah, it's grown. I've got all these zinnias that I planted, oh, and oh, one tithonia one. came up. We'll get some. I need to weed all that. All that's weeds. But the zinnias are looking nice. I actually have one that is going to flower. These are my uh, lime and cranberry colored ones. 
So I can't wait till that comes out. But also, I have to tell you guys something. I, I'm gr These are corn right here. We didn't plant them. That's all corn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all corn. It, it is growing. I don't think I planted that. And then um, we got this. I guess it's a sunflower. Last year these were a little bit darker, so I'm not really sure. But um, this is this was volunteer. And so were these. All the sunflowers were volunteers this year, except that Tithonia actually planted. And then, um, yeah, we just got one right there that was a volunteer. And then my four o'clocks came back, and I've got a little borage growing here. couple of pots sitting out for the herb garden. I did interplant herbs as well, but things that need to be contained like the thyme and the mint are contained. <laughs> Got mint growing here, which I need to cut some of this. It's starting to yellow down at the bottom a little bit. And I've got some chocolate mint growing here and my thyme started growing back, which it looks so cute in there with that little fairy. And I bought a lemongrass. So I got a tea blend from Natural Grocers. And it was a mixture of like orange and lemongrass and hibiscus and some other things. And it is delicious. So I wanted to try to kind of replicate that and switch it around a little bit. So I did get some lemongrass that I'll be able to dry out and add to teas or make my own tea mixes. my tomato trellises but if we're being quite honest I really don't remember which varieties are which I remember some of them um, but not all of them I know that these are beef steaks I believe that these are green zebras or golden jubilees they're one of those two I did plant some calendula in here and I'm waiting for those to come up. So hopefully they do. Um, I don't know. It's the soil's really dry, so I need to water that. And I believe one of these are black prints and the other is a green zebra um, or the golden jubilees. I'm not really sure, but these tomatoes are looking really nice. Um, they're looking like pretty nice decent healthy tomatoes this year i've been trying to keep an eye, eye out for tomato worms or those big weird ugly looking things um i had actually had some on my tiny like my seedlings it got in the greenhouse and i had some on my seedlings so i picked them off as i was planting and i haven't had that much of a trouble with them yet usually this time of year i have a lot but i haven't had that many this year Maybe I killed them early. Let's hope so. But my dill's doing really well. My dill is doing really well down here. I did have, I planted some garlic chives over here and they're not doing as well. So, nope. <laughs> These are my plants from Sabrina. I just planted marigolds in between each of these. German pinks. And then we have some romas here. And they are flowering out and we got some little baby tomatoes on these looking good oh and I just seeded some chives in here so I need to keep that wet and moistened maybe those will come up that's how I mark it where I actually planted and my first row of tomatoes is definitely doing the best and I think that's because it gets the morning Sun and that's what my tomatoes are preferring right now um, but in the front I have Brandywine pinks and I know I told you guys what they were when I first was planting in the garden but 
I think they might be the big rainbows. That was what I was most excited to plant. So maybe it's the brandywine pinks and the big rainbows. These would be the big rainbows if that's what they are. It's time to um, time for me to tie them up again. Let's see if we have any. We have blooms here. Blooms. <laughs> but no baby tomatoes yet. And then on the brandywine pinks, we do have baby tomatoes. See? Ooh, squash bug. Squash bug. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not today. And I have some basil growing here. Um, and then some purple basil, but it's not looking too great. It's not getting enough water being here, so. Oh, and I planted sage and I have just the tiniest sprig of sage popping up right here. difficulty with squash bugs what I was doing first was just spraying it with neem and it wasn't quite enough so I've been coming out here after dark and picking them I've been picking them off and one night we came out and picked off like 20 or 25 and just fed them to the chickens the next night there was like five um, so I think that we're starting to get them under control but I haven't sprayed my plants my squash plants with peppermint oil yet so I'm gonna do that tonight as well um, so I've just got some some natural tricks up my sleeve I really try to garden as organically as possible so I don't use any pesticides on my garden that aren't uh, natural and safe for our family okay so this is one of the new garden beds I have two new garden beds that we just put in along with the tomato trellises but this one's the furthest from the house and we just have some anise growing here some of you may call it something else though. but I've got some of that growing and then all these little things are little tom thumb peas so they're like a bush pea so we've got those growing they were in little rows now they're kind of all over the place along with some verbena that is kind of fizzling out here and then some nasturtium i've got some nasturtiums here that are just starting to kind of bloom out and this is a volunteer i mean i guess it could be a weed it may be a weed totally might but i thought it might have been a squash or something but it's not a squash so i don't know that might be a weed Then I have a pepper bed here, and a lot of people pop top their pepper plants. So I may do end up doing that. I don't know, it might be too late. But I already have fruit on them. I've got a couple decent little peppers on this one. These are California Wonders in this first row. And then I have some chocolate bell pepper, all four, all eight of these. That one's not doing too hot. Like I say, it's been a very, very hot day. So some of these are kind of wilty, but they're gonna get a d good drink when the sun goes down. I don't like to water in the middle of the day. The sun can really burn your plants with the water on them. So I try to water at night and water deep and for a while. A Tabasco pepper, a couple cayenne peppers, and then some jalapeno. So yeah, we do have bell pepper and hot peppers in the same bed. I'm okay with mine being a little hot, so it's okay with me this is the brand new bed I just planted this this week but I've got some hibiscus growing here and nothing in the other side so that's all that's here so far we'll see what else I can put in here with it
This is my squash bed. Looky here. My squash have really been taking a beating. We've been battling the squash bugs, like I said, but I also feel like I need to put some manure and some added things in that bed. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit tonight. I don't have any extra manure, but I do have some nutrients that I can throw in the soil. See if we can get those squash plants looking a little bit better, producing a little bit better, because it is very, very hot in Arkansas and I should be getting squash, you know, about any time now. So I'm gonna work on that bed a little bit. This is the last year for these two beds. So I didn't want to like top them off with dirt or fill them anymore, but I do think I need to bring some more manure in for these. But these were originally built with cedar fence planks. We built them on the cheap and they lasted us a couple years, but they are starting to break down and now we need to put thicker boards on there and just make them a little nicer. But over here, I've just got my radishes going to seed, so I need to net these and catch the seeds. I've got a couple of carrots growing in here. Honestly, not many of, uh, a lot of my carrot seeds didn't come up because I didn't have this year's seeds, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to plant again, we'll see. I did have cilantro in here, which I've still got a little bit growing. But Jay came and weeded this side of the bed and didn't realize that I had cilantro go growing along the side. That's what happens when you got two gardeners in one garden. That's okay, I didn't tell him that I had it growing, so um, kind of my fault too. Here is my last bed, which um, these are looking a little wilty because it's hot today, very, very hot. But I planted some, these look terrible. I planted some parsley and some more cilantro over here. Ugh. It's about time for me to pull up these English radishes. They're really here as bait plants. Um, and they actually worked because my cucumbers look really good this year, which I had a pest problem last year. That's why I planted my radishes over here. And I feel like it's worked because the cucumber are growing, they're growing up, they're producing like crazy, even though the radishes have holes in them. So these radishes are getting bitter already. <clears throat> yeah, they're already bitter, but, um, my chickens will eat just about anything, so they're happy for me to pull those. I really love having the chickens right here on the other side of the fence. Um, I just get a bowl and as I'm weeding, I know it's got a place to go. There isn't really much that goes to waste in this garden. So even if something grows up or bolts or whatever, we're either gonna get seed from it or chicken feed. And here's the other side of the cucumber trellis. And like I say, I've got some broccoli going to seed here. It all bolted really fast, which I knew it would. I knew it wouldn't produce. It was too late to put it out. Um, this side doesn't grow quite as fast as the other side because it does get the afternoon sun instead of the morning sun and my cukes really like the morning sun. Everything likes the morning sun because it's not so hot. Um, but yeah, these will get a good water tonight. <gasps> what are you doing, lady? Let's get you back up here. And what I've been doing is just training them up. See, these are already wrapped, so we can't fix it, but I've just been training them up as I see them grow and reach for things. I just give them, I give them something to hold on to. So they're actually doing really well. 
there are a ton of cukes on this just in all various stages but lots and lots of cucumbers my cucumber plants are the market moors and i grew them from rebel garden seeds and i'm telling you what they're the best producers i've seen so far i've already gotten well over 20 to 25 cucumbers off of that and already making pickles and hopefully they produce for a good long time because mama likes pickles and i need them all year long so far the market more cucumbers have been awesome i'm definitely going to do them again next year last year i did a bush pickle and it did not produce for me at all not at all whatsoever so whatever i'm doing this year i'm loving it so far um but it's got manure and peat moss as the base that's kind of what i put to fill my garden beds and then i've been fertilizing every two or three weeks with a fish fertilizer so i've just been using the alaska fish fertilizer it's a 511 i got it at home depot because it was about 10 bucks you just mix up about a tablespoon or two for a gallon of water and spray everything down but that is my little garden tour. Um, as you see, I got all of the landscaping fabric down. Fabric. <laughs> I got all the landscaping fabric down for the entire area, and now I just need to order mulch. So that's kind of my next step. It'll be a little less hot out here if I do have some mulch on the ground. I had a few bags which I put like under the kids' uh, swing set so we didn't grow weeds here. I want them to be able to play and have this space uh, be nice for them. So I used my bags of mulch under the kids' uh, swing set and then around my little um, stump. <laughs> they put my table over the stump, but um, that's okay with me because now it just looks like I have a table sitting here. I need to throw away some things and de-junk some stuff. I've got some trash here trash over there from filling that bed so there will be continuous work to do I'm going to start seeding some more things in here the radish beds almost empty so I'm gonna replant in there maybe some summer squash or winter squash I don't know thanks for coming over and checking out the garden and walking through with me and looking at what we got um, I would love all of your comments or suggestions. I'd love to chat with you guys in the comments. If you have any questions about what I'm doing or how I'm mitigating the pests this year. Like I say, the big problem has been the squash bugs, but we're working on some new things. Now we're just gonna squish them suckers every time we see them. <laughs> I can't wait to chat with you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.